Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is for Aquarius All Placements. This reading is Aquarius Love Reading for those of you who are not in contact. I just wrote, never mind. There is no contact between you and uh, your soulmate, your true love, your partner. The person who you feel is your twin flame or the person you feel um, is supposed to be your future partner. <sighs> yeah let's settle in there's a lot of anxiety okay <sighs> there's a lot of fear there's a lot of regret so let's we're gonna find out why is there no contact first of all okay so this is my does he love me deck I feel like erotisna, okay, masculine perspective. Why is there no contact from the masculine, divine masculine perspective, spirit? I'm hearing read the writing on the wall. Ishnamoto patishama. Okay. Itokotishtama tara kitishtama. We will always have okay we will always have so okay ah oh, ish nata from the divine masculine perspective we're going into the subconscious okay so subconsciously the divine masculine doesn't feel worthy of the connection okay and they're stuck in the past they're in this energy of five of cups okay i almost feel like you might be mirroring that as well okay they wish that you were here but it's like this energy of you being unreachable untouchable um unfathomable so it's like the idea of you guys actually being together forever that like that kind of energy they can't comprehend it because they don't feel worthy of the connection. I don't know if they'd ever say this consciously. But they do love you. Okay. And I feel like for you, it's this energy of we'll always have, you know, um, watching that movie. We'll always have cooking that food. We'll always have that vacation. We'll always have um, playing those games. We'll always have, you know, sitting on the couch laughing. We'll always have those phone calls. Um, we'll always have those fights and how we made up afterwards. You know what I mean? So I feel like what's happening, thank you so much, is that now Spirit is asking you, <clears throat> let me intervene. Give me permission to intervene because it's time for us to close the chapter on the energy. All right. The will of fortune is coming in for completion. The will is, is turning in your favor. All right. And your guides are helping this to come to an ending with the wheel being 10 and the three pentacles coming in. 10 and 3 is 13. All right. So your guides are helping you to fully release this energy. And primarily, I almost feel like it's the Divine Masculine's guides that are coming in very, very strong to help them detach from you. Because part of the reason why you may be dreaming of them, part of the reason why it may be difficult for you to let go is because they are still holding on. It's this energy of, I forgive you and I fully let you go, right? Mm -hmm. And I ask you to forgive me and fully let me go. It's almost as if... Um, both energies energetically need to be on the same playing field okay yeah 134 might mean something to you 938 and also 0330 I just heard a ting. all right so there's this energy of your crown clearing the attachments are clearing I stand in the energy of detachment with my heart filled with compassion, right? So it's this energy of you'll always love one another. And with that comes in the song. I love this song. It's Lights Down Low. We've been listening to it over and over again, probably for the past, I don't know, week or so, maybe even two weeks. And it's by Max. Who's Who else is in it? All right. It's not telling me right here. Hold on. 
So there's like two versions. There's one just Max, and then there's another version featuring Ganache G N A S H, right? Yeah, so it's Max, guys. And the lyric that really sticks out is um, And you just look so beautiful. It's like you were an angel. I can't stop. Can I stop the flow of time? Can I swim in your divine? Because I don't think I'd ever leave this place. And then he goes, Oh, turn the lights down. Turn the lights, turn the lights down low. Yeah, now I'm feeling you breathing slow because baby, we're just re reckless kids trying to find an island in the flood. Oh, turn the lights, turn the lights down low, right? And it's this, oh my goodness, it's this ocean. Oh, so you probably, you had a wild time, right? And like this energy of reckless kids. So maybe there was a lot of growing up that you guys did together. You might have did a lot of partying together. Um, you know, that kind of thing. It might have been a lot of trauma bonding. And it was just meant to really make, make you both grow emotionally. Okay, coming to the emotional maturity. But also into that, that, that higher state of uh, mental uh, maturity. I'm hearing like it's interesting because I usually say emotional resilience, but I'm hearing mental resilience. Okay, it's this energy of after going through what you both have gone through, right? And you call your power back, you call your worthiness back, you call your esteem back, you call yourself your confidence back, you call your enoughness back, right? From any any place in time. Once you call it back and you accept this energy, you will never never allow anyone to dishonor you or disrespect you you always stand and highlight right and so it was meant to activate you to your true power to your authentic self yes and this is both of you okay Hiroshimata. yeah love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive yeah and so that's another thing i feel like yeah i'm seeing eyes <clears throat> so they are watching you Mm hmm and they're it's like they're keeping tabs on you but I, I almost feel like you are too energetically you know because there's this energy um, can I stop the flow of time of you both wanting to kind of go back to that time where you were so in love with each other where nothing else mattered where you were ride or die road dogs you know it's that energy of there she goes she's my rolling stone like just down for whatever you know that kind of energy and i feel like there might be times when you are looking for this person and other people and they're also doing the same thing and so this is this phase of you understanding that nothing is outside of you everything that you seek is already within you and therefore when you love yourself first you now become a match for that what you truly desire what what is truly on your new frequency because both of you are raising in frequency and it's a, a little bit different different timelines like you're no longer on the same path if that makes sense mm -hmm. so yeah can we get one ishima oh shita Sending you infinite blessings, the pure source energy, love, and light. Okay, so that's also what Spirit is ask, asking you. Just continue to send this person blessings, you know, of unconditional love, blessings of release, blessings of letting go, blessings of... Um, of just pure pure love and light so that way you can that love will dissolve the cord will dissolve the attachments and you're both left in peace and harmony right and you're both in this energy of i fully give you back all of your power and i call back all of my power to me blessed and transmute it right it's yes 9 11 okay if you could be anything, if you knew you couldn't fail, what would it be? Dream big. So Spirit wants you to focus on how can you take your, your focus off of this relationship and put it on to what do you want to create in this world? Go for it. Okay. What kind of love do you want to bring to this world? Who do you want to inspire? Who do you want to support? Okay. Um, who do you want to heal? Like bring, he wants you to take yourself out of the five of cups energy and bring yourself fully into the present moment. And when you do that, you will find it easy to, um, take action on your intuitive leads that yes are leading you away from the connection but it's leading you into more of a happy, joyful life where you feel 
fully you, okay? Don't, you don't always need a plan, you need a goal. Yeah, okay, you don't always need a plan, you need a goal. So what is that goal? Is that goal to feel inspired every single day? Is that goal to love yourself more and more every single day? Is is it, it could be, you know, a physical goal like you're eating or it could be uh, working on a project or it could be sharing sharing your voice, sharing your, sharing your song, sharing your talent, your skill, or it could be, um, saving up to buy that house, getting into that program where they match, where you can, um, you know, do get that down payment. Whatever that goal is for you, Spirit is now asking you, it's time for you to make your dreams come true. And in order for you to do that, what is your goal so that you can continually take action on it every single day? Okay? Thank you. Yeah, listen to the song. I love it. It's like, um, it's so it's it's so empowering. Even though like it just is, it's just very lifting and it's honoring. You know, I feel like I always do this like ode to Denise when I feel that we've shifted and it's like condolences and I've buried an old version, an old perspective of who I was, and with it, um, you know, I bury those connections. I bury those those people too, right? Because they have also transformed into something new. No one is ever the way we left them, right? In this moment right now, they are not the way that you left them. They have transformed and so have you. So it's just energy of like celebrating, right? Celebrating the energy of death. Um, I know it might sound a little bit crazy, but it, it's it's beautiful because it leaves room for new beginnings that 555 energy it leaves room for new transformations it leaves room for new things to be created you know it leaves room for a new relationship the one that god has been preparing you for okay we're gonna get a self-love card yeah i just saw 12 13 create art okay so right now the action would be to create art okay and it would be free form so uh sometimes when we're feeling like we're not good enough um we want to replicate other people's work right and that's cool you know for learning and for expanding and that kind of a thing but spirit says everything you need is already within you Bring your inner child out. Bring your soul out. Let your soul speak to you through your art. What is the freeform art that you would create so that your soul can speak through you to you? Okay? Yes, Irotinama. Uh, we're going to get an affirmation from the masculine. And then an a for an affirmation for the masculine, help the masculine change perspectives. And then we're going to get one for the feminine. So this one is for the masculine spirit. What is for the masculine energy? grace what do they have that I don't that's the trigger statement okay so maybe some of you guys maybe the masculine is seeing the feminine um, you know go on dates or or is hearing or or is thinking that the feminine has somebody new in their life you know that kind of thing so the true statement is we are all special all right so also the masculine is releasing insecurity as well um, jealousy and envy Allow your inner critic to be silenced as you find the perfection in yourself and those around you. Beautiful. Now remember, this could be same-sex relationship as well. There's always someone who holds a dominant energy of masculine, a dominant energy of feminine. So just apply it uh, where it resonates, okay? And this is for feminine. It's also pink pepper, okay? So that would be the herb to work with. Iro shimata. They told me not to take it, so I didn't, okay? For feminine, please. Feel the energy of Venus so strongly. Opening up our hearts. Okay? And the energy of Mother coming in. So, feminine. Right now, what's happening is Mother Gaia, Archangel Sophia, everyone is coming in. Um, the seraphim are coming in. It's uh, this, this energy of just pure unconditional love opening up your heart, right? To like, um, they're showing me as like, your heart is this beautiful kind of like pink glowy energy. And then around it is this kind of, this is a uh, Apache tear. So you might want to work with this. There's this, this black hardened, this is also volcanic rock, right? So this black 
a hardened rock that's around you, right? Because there's this energy where your fire has kind of been out and the, the volcanic rock has, has, has dried, right? It's hardened over time. And so what's happening is that mother is saying, open and let me in. So listening to a lot of Janae Aiko, my feminines, is going to be so powerful for you, okay? Because one, she uses a lot of, uh, you know, crystal bowls and, and that kind of thing, a lot of healing. Um, her intent of her, a lot of her songs are healing, okay? Magic Hour, Poseidon, um, Calm Down, these, these songs, right? And so Mother is like, just she just keeps like spurting this energy up towards you spurting it up spurting it up spurting it up and it's dissolving this hardened rock that you've put around your beautiful brilliant radiant heart okay and she's helping you to open and also the archangels of love okay it'll teach them my angels of love all of them okay are helping to come in and just just this power is coming up so I feel that music is going to be very powerful for you at this time to help you to dissolve that that rock okay because it's going to open you up music is automatically calming as well so even if it's not Janae Aiko but something else go ahead and listen to that you know make that your therapy and just allow your body to dance like you might want to look up somatic dancing or static dance right and just allow your body to just move with the music and even allow your body to be still and you dancing on the inside okay yes yes and yes so that way you can embrace your brilliant radiant heart so is this is resonance oh sorry masculine that was grace this is resonance for my feminine the trigger statement I am right the true statement I am open to the unknown okay so this is this energy of releasing the thought that you are justified in holding resentment against your partner that you are not in contact with okay yeah I want to say ex-partner because spirit wants to make it very clear to you if you're if you came to this reading and I say this with as much love with the most open heart that I can if you are watching this reading right now and you were hoping that you get back together with an ex-partner, ex-lover, um, ex-husband, ex-sexual partner, whoever. It's a no. Okay? It was meant to grow you, to expand you. So now it's time to come into the energy of forgiveness and acceptance within self and for all involved. Okay? You are the being shown. What is dissonant in your life? Allow the beliefs that are not serving you to fall away and be open to your bright future. So the fact that you might be holding on to a resurrection or a reconciliation with this person, okay? If you're holding on to that, you will manifest a reconciliation, okay? But what will happen is you will repeat your cycle. It will be the same energy, maybe given in a different way. All right? And then you guys will end up in a break again. You'll end up in no contact again. So, Spirit says, are you ready to get off the hamster wheel? Are you ready to break the cycle? Are you ready to move past this? Are you ready to help me? Or to help, let me help you move past it? Are you ready for completion? You know, and you have... All, you have free will. You know, if you claim, I'm ready for completion. Spirit, Spirit, help me move past this. Spirit, help me gain the wisdom. Spirit, help me forgive. Help me accept this. Help me take all my power back. Help me dissolve anything that would be holding me back into this connection. Help me to be my 100% authentic self. Help me to love me fully. Help me to heal, right? 1916. So, you can claim that and you can ask for that help and spirit will help you, right? If you were not ready to let go because it's too hard, if you were not ready, you can say, I'm not ready to let go right now, spirit. But with each breath, prepare me to be ready. All right? And so if you were the latter if you are the one who's like i'm not ready apache tear is going to really help you and the reason is because 
It will help you grieve the loss of the person you're not in contact with very slowly. It will help you. It's a form of obsidian as well. I just need to say that. Thank you. It will help you let go slowly. It will help you look at each lesson slowly and turn it into wisdom. Okay. It will help you to embrace slowly. You know, almost like, uh, yeah, almost like the making of a diamond. A diamond isn't made, boom, right? It ha There's pressure that's applied to it, right? And so it's that energy of allowing spirit to put the pressure of unconditional love onto your heart very slowly. And as it's doing that, it's purifying your heart out to create the beautiful diamond. And one day it's going to bust completely out of this black energy and you are going to shine 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 as if you have love for the first time no regret <laughs> no shame no guilt no grief no resentment no jealousy or envy any of that so this applies to both feminine and masculine when we're talking about that energy as well okay just take it how it resonates for you and it might be something where it's it's both of you we're about to end the reading but there's some more um i'm gonna read this quickly because I'm being glad it's in the reading. So, reset, trigger statement, I am sick. True statement, I am alive, eucalyptus. Wisdom, trigger statement, it doesn't make sense. True statement, I see the bigger picture, rosemary. Projection, trigger statement, my mind does not rest. True statement, I listen to my higher self, juniper berry. Ooh, you can eat those too. Um, you do what's got what you're guided to do okay yes not it'll stem on not eucalyptus i'm talking about juniper berry but you can also you know you can eat rosemary you can do eucalyptus in an oil okay to help you reset rosemary put it on everything you can even just wear it around your neck as well to bring in wisdom you can just ask for wisdom and projecting you can eat the juniper berry but you also can wear that around your neck as well eat us some you can have juniper berry tea okay and that will help your mind to to rest so 10 to the fragile 27 this is the porcupine spirit and he's looking at uh the moth right and he's restless the porcupine is like i'm ready to rest you know it's you taking back that self-respect and you saying you know what I'm going to rest my mind. I'm going to pour myself. I'm going to pour in love. I, I open my heart to receive more self-love and, and just say that over and over again for both masculine and feminine and just, and just pour your heart filled with self-love and then just follow the intuitive leads after that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, dragonfly is on here twice as well. And I do see the butterfly. So a lot of spiritual waking transformation and you no longer wishing you were, uh, the, the flame, the light, you no longer wishing that you were that light, right? You are the light. You are the light. Remember that the moth is drawn to the light, to the flame. You are the fire. You have the power within you to transmute anything, any emotion, any thought. You have the power to renew, you know, to rejuvenate. You have the power to, to make it good again. You have the power. It's all within you. All right. I love you so very much. Yes, yes, and yes. Let me know how this hit for you. Namaste, everyone.